Hi, I'm Charlie Duffy for the Dulux How To Series on Interior Surfaces. Painting your doors, windows and trim is a great way to rejuvenate and add character to your home. It can add depth and dimension to newly painted walls, just like it has in this laundry. If you've got doors, windows and trim that could do with a bit of a once over, stick around and we'll show you how to get them looking as immaculate as these. This is Drew. He always pitches in when I'm doing a bit of painting. He has heaps of great tips which can come in pretty handy. First, have a look at the door while it's still hanging. Check out how much room there is on all sides while the door's closed. If it's tight, you may need to sand the edge just to allow for the extra coats of paint. Remove the door handles and anything outstanding on the surface, like coat hooks. Wedge the door with a couple of door stops. This holds the door in place while you remove the hinges. Now we need to take the door off the hinge and I need Drew and his drill to help me out. Just make sure that you leave one screw on each time just to support the weight of the door. Once the door's off its hinges, lay it down flat across a couple of sawhorses, chairs or even a tabletop. Wash the surface with a sugar soap solution to remove grease and grime. If the door's already been painted with an enamel, lightly sand it until the shine has gone, then use Dulux One Step Acrylic Primer Sealer Undercoat to undercoat the door before applying a top coat. First, stir your Dulux Aqua Enamel by bringing the paint up from the bottom of the can. This will ensure you have an even colour throughout. Now grab your brush. Good quality synthetic brush is what I recommend. Tap the brush on the side of the can to remove any excess paint and as you move the brush away from the can, spin it 180 degrees. On a panel door like this one, paint the mullions first. They're the vertical bits that are just above the panel. And tip off with your brush. Then paint the main panels, then the rails. Then paint the styles. So the vertical parts on the outside of the panels. And finally the edges. When it's dry, flip the door over and repeat on the other side. For the second coat, you'll first need to give the door a light sand with 360 grit sandpaper. Then you'll need to wipe your surface down to remove all the sanding dust residue. Now you're ready for your second coat. Painting windows and trim is easy. Mask the surrounding areas to avoid paint splashes and frustrating accidents. I recommend using the blue tape. It's really low stick and it won't actually take off any of the paint. It'll also help you get a crisper edge when cutting in by hand. Masking off will also mean that you can work more quickly, which will help you get a beautiful lustrous finish. So, when loading your brush, dip no more than a third of the brush into the can. Then tap the brush on the side of the can to remove any excess paint. To achieve a good finish, it's easy to paint next to the glass first, starting on one side of the window frame. Work around the frame quickly using long strokes. Don't dab your paint. Move on to the next area leading out from the glass. Always start in the same area and close to a corner. Work your way back around to the starting point, remembering to lay off quickly and being careful not to overwork your paint. Finish the windows by painting the part of the frame that's against the wall. With your masking tape as a guide, start at the top of the window and use long strokes to work along the edges of the frame. I tell you what, I think we've done a beautiful job here. Yeah, remember what this laundry used to look like? It looks so refreshed now. Worth doing, worth jewel ups.